Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about bubble sort. Now, bubble sort is a sorting algorithm that repeatedly steps through a list and compares every element inside of it to the element next to it. If they are in the right, a wrong position, they are swapped. If they are not in the wrong position, they're not swapped. So let's have a look at an example here. So here we have a, an unsorted array that has um, a wide range of numbers between 1 and 22 at random. So the first thing we do is that we look at the first two indexes, the first two numbers, which in this case are 9 and 5. We'll look at them on their own, like in a bubble, away from all the other numbers. And are, you ask yourself, are they sorted? They are not. So you sort them. Instead of 9 and 5, it becomes 5 and 9. You move on to the next two. In this case, they are 9 and 3. Are 9 and 3 sorted? No, they are not. You sort them. That's done, right? You move on to the next three, uh, next two, pardon me. So here, 9 and 2 are not sorted. So you sort them out, 2 and 9. And then you move on to the next two. 9 and 1 are not sorted, you sort them out, 1 and two, one and 9, and then you come here, 9 and 22, are they sorted? Yes, they are. So you keep them as they, is, as they are, nothing happens. And you move on to the next two, 22 and 11. Are they sorted? No, they're not. Swap them. And you move on to the next two, are they sorted? No, they're not. And you have this array right here. So as you can see, it's starting to... To, to, to become more and more sorted. But you have to do this more than once. You have to do this whole pass more than once. So you keep, you keep doing this over and over and over again until it is completely sorted. That is the idea behind bubble sort. And now let's have a look at the Python code behind it. Okay, so now for the Python code. So the first thing you wanna do here is define the bubble sort function and pass in the array, because that's what we're going to sort. Now, in every iteration, in every loop, there is one question that we always ask ourselves. Is that sorted or not? Is this array sorted or not? So, and that's, the answer to that is a yes or no um, answer. So it's a true or false. So all I need to keep track of that is a Boolean function, a Boolean value. Let's call it is sorted. Um, I like to start all my uh, Boolean values with is. And um, since it starts out as not sorted, so let's say it's false. Okay, while not is sorted. Pass, do something, okay? So here, what this is essentially saying is as long as it is not sorted, keep going, keep, keep sorting, you know, keep sorting. So let's get to the sorting. Now here, because we're gonna start out assuming that it is in fact sorted. So it's like the, uh, you know, the accused is not proven guilty until proven so. Okay, so let's assume that this guy is sorted. Okay, for i in range len, now let's loop through the array. If array i is larger than array i plus one, so this is this here is the check, right? The whether the two numbers at the first position nine and five are in the correct position or not. So this is the check. So if they are not in the correct position, then all I have to do is just change their positions. There's a neat trick in Python where you can just um, put the elements in reverse order. So A, B is equal to B, A, and then these just swap values. So now here, all you have to do is just swap and you're golden. That's it. So this is the swap uh, procedure. And this is just in one line of code. It's as simple as that. Okay. Uh... Okay, there's something important to note here. If you are comparing every two numbers, 
and you're going at the at the pace of i so it's going to be 9 5 3 2 blah 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 all the way to the end but once it reaches 10 and tries to do to to run this line right here which is i it's greater than i plus 1 it's going to compare 10 to nothing because in the next index there isn't any any index afterwards there is 11 and 10 but there isn't 10 and what is after 10 right so this line right here won't work unless we make some changes. And to do that, let's just stop at 11. Let's stop here. Okay, so that's 11 and 10. Okay, great. So that's that's fixed. Okay. Now let's go back to the uh, code. If, if we decide to go ahead and swap it, then it was never uh, sorted to begin with. So we go back to our Boolean value and uh, we just say false. It is not sorted. Okay. Unsorted. Okay. So now it's more or less ready, right? Now, once uh, it stops, we return the array. Okay. It works. Everything is sorted out. Let's run it again. In case you didn't see. And it works.